just spend some time talking about the My Leviton app and the ways to control uh, different circuits within the home. And, and where we're going to move to today now is we're going to move to the Leviton panel. And we're going to talk about the panel that you guys debuted in uh, 2018, uh, one of the newest, uh, most relevant pieces of technology for the electrical industry uh, in a very long time. You ever wondered why are those boxes gray? Had a lot of gray paint left over over World War II, <laughs> so they just kept painting them gray. But yours is white, and I'd love for you to uh, walk us through a little bit of this, Rick. Well, we had the opportunity back in the day. Uh, we had the opportunity to, to talk to builders, talk to contractors, what they did like about a product that hasn't been changed in the last 40 or 50 years. We took all that information and kind of introduced the Leviton Load Center, as you mentioned, in 2018 from that end of it. We're going to start at here uh, from a mod builder perspective, the efficiencies, right? So Leviton, on our load centers, we have a 20 circuit, we have a, a 30 circuit, a 42 circuit, and then we have a 66 circuit panel. What's really nice about it is, number one, it's, it's solar ready. Right? It's rated for 225 amp bus rating from that aspect of things. Today, if a homeowner wanted to put solar up in the building, nine out of 10 times, they're gonna to have to change out their panel and put a solar ready panel. So from the production builder's perspective, you already put the platform in. It's the same price points as you're currently paying from one of the other manufacturers out there today. But by putting that platform in, you have scalability, not only from the production perspective, but once the homeowner gets into it. From a production perspective, you then, everything gets installed within the studs. From there, you bring all your circuit wiring in, and then you land all your circuit wiring on these terminal strips here. No wires go to a breaker, like traditional installs today. Ours, wireless per se, meaning there's no wires attaching to the breakers, everything from a 15 amp to a 60 amp breaker, which is the bulk that's installed. Once you land all your cable and everything else, you can come in and finish doing your trim out works. And then at the end of it, if the house has been painted or the room where the load center is painted, you can then come in and snap in your breakers. And all you do is you plug and play, and away you go, you power up. Three different type of breakers. We have traditional breakers, 15 through uh, 90 amp from that aspect of things. We then have electronics. The electronics are designed for the consumer in mind. It's all about safety. So back in 2016, you all had a requirement that dictated a US, excuse me, a GFI receptacle had a self-test itself once every three hours. If it deemed that it could not protect the consumer, it would shut itself off, which meant the contractor would come in and change it out. So from 2016 on, we've had that in all of our GFI receptacles. We took that same technology and put that into our electronic breakers from that aspect of it. So from a consumer's perspective, we're making sure we're always protecting you from that end of it. If a breaker trips on our side of it, and if I go and try and reset it, if it hasn't taken care of that fault, you cannot power it back up. Whereas some of the other manufacturers today, if I lose GFI protection, as a consumer, I can go in and reset that breaker in a way I go, giving the consumer the thought that I have GFI protection, when in reality they don't. It's truly smart. Truly. And then from there, we go with the intelligence. The intelligence is a really cool feature as far as understanding the power consumption within the home and those type of things. So the difference between each of those three different breakers is just a part number, number one. Number two, when you start getting involved with the smarts, you just take out a standard breaker as an example, you plug it in, and then what you do, you add what we call our whole home energy monitor. It's a small little hub. It's Bluetooth communication to the breakers. Then we have Wi-Fi going out to the Wi-Fi network within a home. And then we associate the home with the My Leviton app with the load center, we talked about the smart devices in the other room. Right. We also didn't talk a lot about it, but we also have our Leviton EV chargers from that aspect of things. Once you have these things in, you then have a set of CTs, right, that goes right underneath the main breaker. This now gives the consumer the understanding of the total KW usage within a home, number one. We have the ability now to tie in a second set of CTs that's going up to the solar up on the roof. I have an understanding what's coming off the roof from that aspect of it. We then have the ability to tie in for those homeowners that have battery walls within the garages and those type of things right. to see what's coming there. And the other really cool feature is we now have the ability for those customers that want to add a generator onto their home mm -hmm. to be able to tie it in nicely with the, with the Leviton Load Center. Historically, on a traditional um, generator install, you have an automatic transfer switch with a sub pin or a generator. 
With our install, you don't need to have that sub panel. By having the, the My Leviton app with the hub and everything else, we have a set of low voltage wires that goes from the home energy monitor over to the automatic transfer switch. So when the power drops out, we see that contact closure. The hub then tells those non-essential breakers to shut off and keep the essential breakers on. When the power kicks back on, we see that open contact made within the automatic transfer switch. We then tell those non-essential breakers to turn back on. So in a, sh you know, in a nutshell per se, we have everything that a builder needs to put into their home to do not only traditional type of load center installs, the ability to allow that homeowner, once they move in, to scale it to whatever they want it to. So I'm just gonna put these down for a moment. Yeah. We'll go over to what the finished product looks like, right? So from the homeowner's perspective, it's really an approachable panel now. It's not what you had mentioned about the gray and everything Absolutely. else. It's not scary. We want the homeowner to be comfortable that if they ever had a, a concern with their panel, as an example, they may have a local electrician, they can call the electrician up who may have done the original, excuse me, who is there to service the area and that did the original install because that was done back at the factory. It was. <laughs> but they had the ability to be able to ask the homeowner, can you tell me what the indicator lights look like on the breakers today? At least that electrician be able to talk the homeowner through with some of the things that may be or come out to the home itself to take care of the issues. But some of the things that we weren't able to show you and some of the other things is the ability to remotely shut off a breaker. So from my Leviton app, our friend here, Greg, was able to do that for us. We have the ability to remotely turn that back on as well by having uh, the my Leviton app tied into your load center as well. We have the ability to set schedules, right? Like jacuzzi, pool filters, those type of things. If you live up in the mountains, you may have a snowstorm coming. You might be able to do the heat tape that's up on the roof. You'll be able to remotely turn that on versus we've had a lot of installs over the years where people are like, I didn't understand my energy consumption. I realized I had a mountain house that had that circuit set on for 365 days a year, just sure. burning up everything, those type of things. But we really wanted to have an end product that was really approachable to the consumer, but more importantly, protection to the consumer. With all the technology that we've installed in our outlets over the past several decades, we've kind of massaged the size of it and put it into our circuit breaker to provide those same type of protection to the consumer. It's an amazing uh, upgrade to uh, what is, I mean, has mostly been driven by code and regulations, right? Um, so now we're seeing the ability to take it beyond uh, what is just code required. So amazing product. Uh, we are so happy to be partnered with Leviton, bringing this to the modular market, uh, working with customers. Uh, we invite you to get in touch with us. Let's talk about uh, what you're doing in your plants, how you're serving your home builder or your your homeowners, and uh, and how we can be involved with Leviton. Uh, really appreciate you walking us through the product. Thank you, Ken. Appreciate it.